He doesn't want to be himself. He wants to be something which is not real. And so, in the time of Masia, the scholars say, then the khawf is necessary. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Bayyina has told us very clearly in speaking about those who are successful, those believers, in describing them, he said, Radiyallahu anhum wa radu an dhalika liman khashi arabba. That Allah is pleased with, with them. Allah will be pleased with them. Those believers who will get khayr al bariya that they will have the best place to live. They will be in Jannah. Allah is pleased with them and they will be pleased with Allah. Who is this for? ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ خَشِيَ رَبَّهِ That is for the one who fears his Lord. That he is aware of the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah is most merciful, but at the same time, that Allah is severe in punishment. And that is important for us to realize. And it does not mean that if we have done something wrong in this world, that we are destined for hellfire, Allah is most merciful. And Allah tells us in the Quran, Inna Allah dunuba jami'an. Allah forgives all sins. In this life, before death, Allah will forgive, inshallah, any sin that you do. But it means tawbah to nasuha, that you have to have a true repentance. To be satisfied, to gain contentment. We all make mistakes. But if we make a mistake, we need to turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to make tawbah. And when we make tawbah, it doesn't mean you just say astaghfirullah. It means you recognize what you did wrong, that you turn, repent to Allah Azza wa Jal, and that you make the intention never to return to the sin. You make a strong intention. And then you do compensation. Part of Tawbah is Radd al Madhalim. That means you give back what happened with the people. And some person will say, okay. If I stole uh, $1,000 from the store and I make Toba, then I can give back $1,000. Yes, you should give it back. I don't say to you, take the money and go to the shopkeeper and say, I stole the $100 from your shop, because he's going to call the police. But give it back to him some way, give it back. Make your Toba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the point is, if you scandalize somebody, if you backbite somebody, then what can be done? If you said something against another Muslim, we had an Imam in Cape Town. He was an Imam who was a strong leader. And he had an Islamic school, and he was a serious brother. And they made this discotheque. They made this uh, nightclub, which they called Dark Side. And this is the one that had seven heavens, seven levels in it, okay? And the Imam, he found out that some of his students were in dark side, Islamic school, Islamic school. So he was the kind of person, he takes, he, he changes things with his hands. So the Imam, he went down to dark side, Saturday night, they're dancing around, take ecstasy, they're all high and stoned. It's three o'clock in the morning and they go over uh, to the food and they're dancing around and, and then they go to the restaurant, there's a little stall there, and then they say, is there halal food? <laughs> they're dancing around at three in the morning, eyes are glazed. The Imam said, you know what the Imam did? He drove into dark side, he went into the middle of the dance floor and he grabbed his students and he pulled them out of the place with his jubba on and his cap, he went right inside and he took his students out. Now, some people are driving by and they see the Imam going into dark side. A stock for the law. There it is. The Imam is going to dark side. And they go back to their people and they start to talk. There it is. I saw Imam Fulan Fulan in dark side. 
Then suddenly, Imam commits adultery. Imam takes drugs. Imam does this. And the whole thing goes out of place. The question is, did you go to the Imam and ask him why he was at Daksa? If you went to the Imam and you asked him, then you would find out he would tell you, I was doing Nahi al-Munkar. I was forbidding evil things at Dockside. He's the hero of Dockside. But you said he's a criminal. Now, the point is, you want to make Toba. You found out that the Imam was actually bringing the students up. You want to make Toba. How do you do this? You cannot pay the Imam money. You ruined his reputation. Now, the scholars say, in this case, you will have to say good things about the Imam. You will have to go around and say so much good about him until his reputation comes back. This is Radd al Madalim. This is the way you will compensate for the wrong that you did for that person. And so Toba has to be a complete action that the believers do and not something which is false. It is a complete program and we can even call it self-analysis and reconstruction. And so by having this, we will gain, inshallah, the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be al kayis the intelligent person. La khawfun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun. They have nothing to fear in this life. They are satisfied with who they are. They have nothing to be sad about the past. So we lived in racism, so we had slavery, so we have apartheid. Should I cry all night? No. I need to go forward. I need to go forward with no fear about what will happen in the time to come. And so we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would give us this contentment in the life of this world, that Allah would purify our hearts, make us to be al kayis the intelligent person, and give us that success in this life and the hereafter. I leave you with these thoughts and I ask Allah to have mercy on me and you. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.